Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to a new video. This is gonna be a short one, I just wanted to show you a little bit more in depth the LSBLK utility, which is a very useful utility, also used for installing Arch and other systems of course, and it's also very useful for system maintenance. So enough talking, let's jump into the video. So let's get started here with the LSBLK utility. The LSBLK utility stands for List Block Devices. So let's just enter it into the terminal. You have seen me entering this command many times during my monthly installations of Arch and other installations as well. So by default, this command is gonna show us all our block devices in the machine. So in my case, I have, as you can see here, four disks, SDA, SDB, NVMe 0 and 1, and NVMe 1 and 1. We have some properties in here, the size, the type and also the mount points. Now, if you want to see a specific device only, you could type in, for example, lsblk and then only slash dev slash nvme 0 and 1, for example, and you will be filtering out just that device. Now, this is a very simple way and it's a very simple command, but let me show you lsblk dash help and hit enter here. So there's a long list of commands here, you can see. So let's scroll through them quickly and see what we can do. So you can see here we have basically the usage, LSBLK options and device. So you can see we have tons of options here available. And I also normally don't use all of these, but some of these are very interesting. Now, let me put this terminal here on the side and let me open up another terminal here on this side and I will increase the font size here as well so that you can see better. Maybe I'll make this a little smaller. There you go. So let's type in again LSBLK and let's start to see what we can do with these options. So I'm not gonna show you all of these. You can test them out for yourself if you want to, but the ones that are more important to me are, for example, the discard option, which is the first one. So we can type in here dash capital D or dash dash discard as you wish. And then the name of your device, for example. So slash dev slash NVMe 0 and 1 in my case. And so in this case, you will see completely different information that we would see with LSBLK. We see here basically the disk alignment and other discard capabilities. So this is something to keep in mind if you want to see the discard capability, for example, of your SSD. So dash D or dash dash discard. Now let me clean up the terminal with control L. Now you can also see the output of the lsblk command with the dash j option. So let me type in lsblk, for example, dash j, capital J, and then slash dev slash nvme 0 and 1. And you will see here we have another format. This is the JSON format. Some of you might have seen this format already in other instances, but you can also save this as a file and then share it with other people. Now another option that I would like to show you is lsblk and then dash f and then slash dev slash nvme 0 and 1. Dash f stands for file system. You can use dash f or dash dash fs. Then once you hit enter here, let me actually decrease the font size so that you can see a little bit more information. You will see here basically the name of the device. You will see also the file system. And on this side here, you will see also the UUID. So this provides also a little bit different information than the standard LSBLK. And it can be used, for example, to find out the file system or also the UUID and the label, of course, if you have one attached to your partition. Now let me again clean up the terminal. There are also other formats that you can use, for example, lsblk-l for list. This is just going to print out a very straight list of information. So slash dev, for example, slash nvme 0 and 1 again. So you can see here we have no formatting, nothing, just text, just plain text here. We just have some spaces in between and this is just another way on how you can see the information. Another way is lsblk-m. The M stands for permissions. You can also use dash dash perms if you want. And then slash dev slash nvme 0 and 1. So here basically you see output information about permissions of your device in this case. So you can see the size, the owner, the group and the mode. And you can see we have here read and write permissions. So let me clean up again the terminal and let's go to the next one. So the next one is lsblk-p. 
and that stands for pass. Now I skipped actually the dash O option because I'm going to come back there in a second. The path option here is basically going to print out the complete device path. So slash dev slash nvne 0 n1. And you can see here, it prints out on the left side, the full path of the device. This must be useful sometimes if you want to see the full path of certain device. And this is how you can find it out. Now, another option that we can use is also the topology option. So lsbk dash t or dash dash topology and then slash dev slash nvme 0 n1. So here you can see we have other information about my device. I will decrease here the font size a little bit more that you can see better. So these are all topology parameters for your device. Might be useful sometime to see them. If you are looking for these, you can find them out with the dash T option. Now, another one that I forgot actually to show you before is LSBLK dash B for bytes. So this is basically going to print out the size in bytes rather than in human readable format. This might be useful sometime if you're really looking for this kind of information. Normally we use the human readable format for this and the ME zero and one. And you can see here we have the size here in the middle. So this is in bytes. And if we would remove here the dash B option, it's going to show us this in human readable format. Now let's go back to the output option. So LSBLK dash O. Now the dash O option, it's not going to work if you don't put an extra argument in here. And which are these arguments? You can find out here at the end of this file. So you can see here available output columns because dash O stands for output or dash dash output. So these are all the parameters we can use basically in our dash O option. So for example, let me type in, in here again LSBLK just normally and you can see I have four disks. Now let's say that I want to find out actually I don't remember which device is NVMe 0 and 1. So which model is that? Which vendor and the model? So we can find this out by typing in LSBLK dash O and we can specify model and then slash dev slash NVMe 0 and 1. We need to specify the device. And you can see here it tells me Samsung SSD 970 Evo plus one terabyte. Now, of course, if I would remove the device path, it's going to show me basically all devices with the model. So you can see my four disks in here. I have a Samsung SSD 860 Evo. This is a Western Digital SSD. I have the two SSD 970 Evo plus one terabyte in there. So this is how you can find out the model of your device. Now we can also filter out here the file system type. For example, we can type in lsblk dash o fs type and then slash dev slash nvme zero and one. And you can see here, it tells me basically that I have four different kinds of file systems on this disk. So I have VFAT, this is corresponding to the first partition and the swap and two NTFS partitions. Now, if I type in, for example, here the same command, but I replace, for example, one and one P3, let's say this is the third partition of my second disk. You can see here the file system type is ext4. This is my Linux installation. In the third partition, I have my root partition. So this is how you can filter out your file system type. Let me clean up the terminal and type in lsplk-o. And this time we can also use fs used. And then slash dev slash nvme one and one p3, for example. So here you can see the file system used is 17.7 gigabytes on my third partition on my second SSD drive. Now there are many, many other options that you can use here. For example, you can also filter via UUID, LSBK, and then dash O and then UUID, let's say on the slash dev slash NVME one and one P1 this time. And you can see the UUID of that partition. So this is another way on how you can find it, but there are many ways how to find the UUID anyway. And this is just one of them. We can also use the PT UUID for the partition table identifier, partition table type, and so on. If you have a label attached also to the partition, you can also find that out with part label. Part UUID is also the partition UUID. Also the flags. If you have some flags attached to your partition, you can find them out here with this command and so on and so forth. 
So we have a lot of options that we can use here. And if you're installing from the terminal and you want to configure your devices, the LSPAK utility is providing you with a lot of help. And once you install your system, it's providing still a lot of help by filtering out the things that you're looking for. So definitely explore a little bit more in depth the LSPAK utility. It is going to help you out a lot in the process of installing systems or managing your systems as well. So this was a short video guys, it was just to show you a little bit the LSBLK utility and what it can do. It's definitely a nice utility to know, it has many options that can help you out find the information you're looking for. So if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching the video guys, I really appreciate that, I'll see you very soon in the next one.